Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to my Notion tour. Uh, if I'm not a Notion girly to the ends of the world, then I don't know who is. Saying that, however, I am also really bad at using it, but that is definitely because of some sort of neurological wiring. Um, I love Notion, I've been using it for the past two years, two and a half years. I used it summer 2020 to get prepared for my sixth form experience and I used it for note taking and managing stuff all throughout that. Um, and now it's kind of just it's my little safe space and I'm gonna show you everything. There's also gonna be some templates linked in the description um, for you to use while the databases are a bit more complicated. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy, let's get started. Okay, so here is my homepage. Um, she's had many different renditions over over the past two years. Um, this is my current one, where it's where it's kind of coquette, French, Pinterest vibes. I don't really care if the image quality is bad because that kind of just makes it more wholesome and comfy. Um, I've got little stickers, gifts as the logos, as you can see here. Um, they're all from Giphy. Um, I love it, it just makes it feel more active and personalised versus using like an emoji or an icon, which a lot of people do use. Um, and here we go, here's my main page. It's a lot simpler than I've had it before um, and I like it that way. Um, we start out with my first database, which is a gallery view. This isn't going to be a how to use Notion, I'm going to try and make it not a how to use Notion because my brain is naturally going to want to try and explain everything to you, but I know that if I did that, this video would be genuinely two hours long. Um, so I'm just kind of gonna describe everything. Um, this kind of layout is inspired by a bunch of different people that I can't remember, but it's setting your notion up as if it's like a little house with different rooms inside. So we've got the front door, the living room and the bedroom. Um, and then we go down and I have a little page about things that people say about me because they make me feel better about myself and remind me that people actually do like me and I'm not hated by everyone on the planet. That's lovely. Um, so that's just a place to put those on my main page just so I can easily access it at any time. Um, below that I have um, my monthly overviews, which I'm really bad at keeping up with. Um, let me show you a little preview. So in here I have uh, the goals for this month, relish in the little things, which is things that are very me centered that month. Um, and then key memories, good or bad, mixing them all together, not giving them any labels because every memory is neutral to try and not think of my entire past as bad. Um, and that's organized just by four months in like four months chunks. So it doesn't take up too much of my page because you can build the stuff on Notion and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, under that, I have my daily habit tracker, which I was trying to convince myself to use more. So I put it on my main page. Um, I love habit tracking. This is just a case of saying, okay, so today's the 3rd of February. What have I done today? I did not sleep in today. I did do my morning skincare. I will be taking my pills later, but they need to go at the end. Didn't meditate, didn't do any gratitude. Independent work is what I'm doing right now. I have read, I haven't done any languages, nor yoga, nor fitness. Haven't checked in, which is the same as diary entries. Haven't tracked my finances, but that's my main to do for the day. I haven't done anything podcast related. I haven't taken my makeup off because it's not the end of the day yet. Nor have I showered. I have brushed my teeth. And I haven't napped yet. Let's see if I will. But yeah. Um, and then that all racks up in this little progress bar. Um, enjoy the confusing formula. Um, that'll be in the template. Um, but it just gives you this little progress bar of how many things you've done that day. My habit tracker though, just to say, is very much a curiosity thing. It isn't a thing that I have to take off every single day. Those things I list with may sound like the bare minimum for you, but as someone with depression and a whole load of other neuroses, it is very hard for me to do a lot of these things. And I don't want to berate myself when I don't do them. So it's very much a, oh, have you done these things today? Well done if you have, don't worry if you don't, try again tomorrow. Um, yeah, as opposed to a, mm, these are things you have to take off every single day or you're a failure. We're not having those mindsets and definitely not in 2023. I left those behind in 2020. So <laughs> good to go, okay? Um, next to this, this may seem like boasting now that I'm presenting it to the world on YouTube, um, 
but this is obviously mainly just for me to see usually um it's my list of silly little assets to remind myself both the nice things people say about me up here but also my like concrete achievements um uh, when i feel like i haven't really done anything with my life and actually yes i have um not gonna go through them but <laughs> you can see them um and then at the bottom i have a link to my notebook page and my calendar so let's get started with the front door um in here we have picking up pennies which is my work tracker rummaging in your purse which is my finance tracker hopping on the train which is my travel tracker speaking in tongues which is my language tracker and stressing through essays which is my school page to be university page first we have picking up pennies which just involves the current job i'm doing and inside each page it tracks how much i earn per shift tracking each shift i do to make sure i'm getting paid the correct amount and to look back on blah 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 it also has places that i would like to work maybe in the future um and i've written little how this will benefit me how can i romanticize this and how can i improve um to make capitalism have less of a chokehold on me um yeah <laughs> okay then we have rummaging in your purse which i obviously don't necessarily want to show you because it is all of my spendings but let's go into my templates here's my little template page for you guys um my finance tracker so here i basically everything i spend during that week i will write in the weekly spendings section so let's say i bought a book this book is a luxury purchase um it cost me 10 pounds i bought it today um week beginning january 16th that is hashtag incorrect but let's go with it let's go with it whatever actually let's fit the theme come on january 16th worry okay let's say i bought it on the 18th this because it has a roll up will link to the finance tracker database so these are two separate databases but they're linked together <sighs> um but it is confusing which is why i've made a template of it for you um but it'll basically say i put in how much i earn per week um and then it will calculate my balance by subtracting all of the things I've just listed in the things I've bought and subtracting that from the balance. And it will tell me how much I've spent, which I could also just figure out by putting the calculate here. Um, but it's nice to see on there. It will tell me whether I've kept in budget and this budget um, uh, is currently set at £50 per week. Um, and if it's below 50 pounds you'll get a filled in star if it's and over 50 pounds you'll get an empty star <laughs> great wonderful um yeah that's how it works um and your balance isn't just told by the sections it's told by the sum at the bottom um because obviously you're going to be spending different amounts every week you're going to be earning different amounts every week usually kind of sometimes i don't know um i get monthly income so i earn different amounts every week um yeah so it'll calculate it and then this is kind of your main thing it tells you your balance yeah your bank app may tell you that as well yeah maybe you don't need this but if you're insane like me i want to see everything that i've spent because i on on my bank app it just says like a random word that doesn't tell me what i've spent i like to know what i've spent okay great that's my finance tracker hope that made sense um i also put in a little iou database up here um where you can write the person how much you owe them and what you owe them for and vice versa and you can tick them off when you're done uh, it's late <laughs> okay let's go back um then we have my travel tracker which is just my future travel plans and my past travel plans and useful links if i show you lisbon um we've got our itinerary at the top which is just very kind of like scatterbrained because I have found that as much as I love Notion and as much as you can customise it to be very protective, when your mind works in similar ways to mine, you also need things that you can just throw down and like leave because actually the kind of more complex stuff gets, the less likely you are to use it, even if it seems like it will be really beneficial. Um, so I definitely had that with my homework tracker when I was at school. Um, but yeah, so I've got a very simple to-do list, which I'll just show you later. Um, but yeah it's just different like places to eat tourist attractions little street scenarios transport info spending tracker because there were three of us and sometimes one person would get the bill whatever 
Um, they're all different. This is my current iterating one, which is just a list of toggles and like different things I'll be doing in each places. Um, I can't wait to go on trailing. Hope you can't wait either because you will be getting lots of videos. Tee hee hee. Um, then I have speaking in tongues, which is my language tracker. I need to keep up with this more. Um, but if I show you my French one, um, basically has a list of different kind of vocab, uh, topics, um, and whether they include grammar stuff in them as well. Um, and then a little diary to practice using the words that I have learned. Um, won't lie, I haven't touched this in a hot minute, but I enjoy the concept and I keep it here in hopes that I'll do it again because it's very hashtag smart of me. In concept. In theory. Whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and then I made an extra page for traveling where I made a little template button where it's, are you going to a new country? Yes, I am. Let's say I'm going to Spain. Not that I need these for Spain because I know my Spanish. Um, but then it just tells you all the like the phrases you might need to know and you just quickly translate them before your trip. So that'll be useful for interrelating when I obviously can't learn the language fluently of every country I want to go to. Um, but I will know enough. Um, and if you have any other recommendation of phrases I should add to this list, let me know because I'm convinced that that's not enough. Okay, great. <laughs> Then we have stressing through essays, which includes my personal statement, my future university page. I don't go to university yet, but I've naturally already made a page for it because I'm insane. How many times do I have to say this, guys? Um, but you also have my lower sixth and my upper sixth school pages. So let me just quickly show you both of them. They're both kind of similar. This is my like original way I wanted to organize everything was by doing big square pictures. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The insides of the pages are kind of the same. But yeah, that's my original layout. So this might give you inspiration for your own Notion pages. Other sixth, um, I changed it up. I put all those pictures in the gallery format um, using anime gifs, which have my whole heart. And I, I do mourn not using them anymore, but it's also, you know, a new era of my life. I need to simplify things, so that's fine. Um, but if I show you, mm, psychology, I think is the best one to show you. Um... <laughs> We have a little reason why I wanted to take the subject, all of my topics, um, how to ease myself into revision, like different revision topic ideas, um, my homework tracker, my revision tracker, links and exam tips. Um, so each of these just has a work tracker inside it. I can say when it's done, I can say what type it is, and then I can link it to a task, i.e. if that lesson had a homework, this is then what I would say, and then it links to my homework database, ta-da, um, which the main one is on the general page. Let's go back, let's go back, upper sixth. Um, so here's my main, here was my main homework tracker where I could either separate my tasks by subject, um, on a monthly view, this isn't very helpful right now, but whatever, or organised sections. Um, this is one of the things I did that helped me a lot because it meant, you know, different times of day I'd be in the mood for different kinds of homework and that would help me motivate myself to do them when I was like, okay, you know, I'm only doing some formatting right now or I'm only copying down some stuff from PowerPoint. Um, versus, you know, oh, I need to do an essay or I need to read something or I need to answer a bunch of questions. Or if it was catch up, I had lots of catch up to do, but that's fine, we're not gonna talk about that. But separating them into sections of what kind of work it is means that you know how your mind is going to kind of activate itself whilst you're doing that task, which means that you can shake things up a little bit. So, oh, if I've just done a catch up task, maybe now I can do a textbook task as opposed to just doing a series of one kind of tasking it being it using one part of your brain a lot and then overworking it. It's good to shake things up a bit. I explained that really badly, but I hope it made sense anyway. Um, yeah, that's my homework tracker. Um, one thing I would say to change it up is to, instead of having the due date, do the date you're planning on doing it. That will help. Um, I also have priority stuff because there's some homeworks that listen, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm clearly not gonna do it. I know I'm not gonna do it. Teaching is not gonna do it. It's fine. Let's accept it. It's not that deep. Education is your experience. 
these are my priority tasks, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, that also really helps to stop overwhelming yourself and stop getting angry at yourself when you don't do everything you're supposed to do, okay? Um, yeah. Oh, and just to tell you how the space repetition works, I shouldn't be showing you this. This was something. Shut. Anyway, basically, you've got a calendar. Every time you go over something you've studied, it you tick tick a little box, um, and then it will tell you when to next do it, and it gradually becomes longer and longer and longer to keep it in your brain. Does that make sense? So I will study something. And then I'll revisit it the next day, then I'll revisit it in a few days, then I'll revisit it in like a week, then I'll revisit it in like a month, whatever. It's meant to be the best way to revise anyway, so I made a table with it. Actually didn't, I definitely copied it off somewhere, but then manipulated it for my own use. You do have to write out every single subtopic, which is a bit of a pain, but it also is good to get you in the zone and make you aware of what you've got to do. So that's, that's kind of what it looks like. I also had a section for stuff that I was doing that day, um, and things where I wasn't revising, I was doing the prep for it. Okay, great, wonderful. <laughs> um, and then I've got my university page, but I'm not gonna go through it because I haven't actually been to university, so I don't wanna recommend it, but there is a template if you want to use it. It does look like this, let me show you though. <laughs> Ta-da, currently looks like this. Um, this is also me manifesting going to Bristol to study comparative literature got the unit information i just said i wasn't going to show you and now i'm showing it to you anyway there you go great wonderful <laughs> um okay 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 then we go to my living room here we have my book tracker this is more of my tbr tracker than my book tracker because i knew that i wasn't gonna have two separate book tracking sites i already well i already have two i use goodreads and the story graph and there was no point doing one on Notion as well when no one was going to see it. And the only reason I use those tracking apps is so that people can look at me and be like, wow, wow, she reads. Um, <laughs> so this is more for compiling different TBR sections. So I can look at them and be like, yeah, these are what I want to read right now. Um, so for example, this is one rendition of my current TBR. Um, where I put the book covers as the page covers so that they pop up on the gallery view. Um, but I also have a table listing all of the books I mainly want to read, whether I need to acquire it, whether I've read it, what kind of book it is, what creek it's in, i.e. what group of TBR it's in. So I do have a more recent one, the one I just told you was number three. Um, but that's because I'm still kind of trying to finish that off and then I'll move to my TBR number four. Um, and then a note of all the books um, I've lent to people and knowing that I should bully people to give them back. So, Lisa, giving back Rules of Interrupted, Girls Interrupted, and Play As It Lays. I just said Rules Interrupted. Rules of Attraction. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> um, then we have Flicking Through Visual Art, which is the same concept, but for films and shows that I want to watch. Um, I can't don't really use this, I'm not going to lie, but it's nice to have it to visualise when I'm like in the mood to be like, no, I need a specific watch list because my watch list on Letterbox has gone too full of like random films. I need like a specific visual of what I want to watch right now. Great. And because I've just restarted my Letterbox, I clearly don't need that. Then we have Enhancing Your Brain, which is my, I want to study things, self-study things. There are lots of things I want to learn more about, which I feel like I don't have the space to do. So I'm doing them here. Um, it's my little, you know, I've got all my little notes about the Renaissance, different like educational books that I've read, such as A Curious History of Sex, um, all the different things I want to study. I did set up a little study schedule for myself that I have in fact not been following and I blame the book that I was starting off with for that. But here we had it, it was also my first time experimenting with notions like subgroups. Um, so we have these, the week I was meant to be doing them the topic, the chapter title, and then these all rolled up into another little progress bar that is way too complicated for what it's worth. But basically, you know, every time I study a chapter, it pops up in here and tells me how far through I've gone through my fake study schedule. Great, wonderful. <laughs> um, a different podcast I can listen to to learn new things from. 
Um, and then also courses I want to do, um, which aren't necessarily actual courses, but like a course is in my brain. So I wanted to do TEFL during my gap year. Haven't, won't, but that's still there as an option. Um, I wanted to study graphic design and coding and I wanted to learn the guitar and the piano. I wanted to do a little pit crew moment and I wanted to do like a poetry writing class because I find that really cringe and I want to not find it cringe. Great. So these are my little courses that I've basically made for myself. I haven't interacted with any of them, but again, it's a nice visual to see what I want to do and remind myself of my interests. <sighs> That's a big theme. And then finally in the living room is broadcasting some words where I have the link to my podcast planning page, um, which you, you should go listen to. Pristine Paradoxes podcast on Spotify and Apple Music and anywhere else you want to listen to it. <laughs> um, um, and then my YouTube video planning. Um, so not only do I track when I want to film them, the type of video, the status, whatever. Oh, just realised I haven't actually updated the status for any of these. Look at that. Silliness. These aren't meant to be in here. What? Crazy. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I made little video planning templates for them where I have my little to-do list at the top, which is kind of all the steps you go through when you're recording. Um, vague script and video segments little note for myself and then some b-roll implementation ideas perfect and that is in fact uploaded um i forgot about that completely um great and here's my january 2023 wrap up which hopefully you'll have watched and then the notion tour that i'm filming right now wonderful which yeah it says i'm supposed to film on that, that's that's such a lie i'm so sorry um anyway <laughs> that's that oh also at the bottom it's got my description and little ideas my sub subscriber goal my thumbnail ideas um youtube tips and potential songs i want to do covers of great wonderful not embarrassing at all this is fine this is going completely fine okay final room we've got the bedroom which only has two things in it number one structuring the waves this is where all my habit tracking goes so that little habit tracker I had on my main page that is a copy not a copy like a rendition of this database because you can put databases in different sections and filter them for the different pages that they apply to but you still have one overarching database you get me so that one is today but this one will also show me today but also the rest of the month and all of the other months that I've tracked my habits in so wonderful same principle as i showed earlier then i have a list of my systems i my like main kind of ideal habits like the things i want to do every day that aren't just like go to bed take your medication um where you're meant to write down things that will make this habit easier to achieve so versus saying i want to meditate every day you're then going to write how you're going to do that daily meditation and also acknowledge the different situations you might be in that may prevent you from doing that meditation. So you may say, oh, I'm gonna meditate, you know, the second I wake up, or I'm gonna meditate in between each step of my skincare routine um, for like 30 seconds. Stuff like that, Stuff like just making it easier for yourself. You know yourself the best, or you should start trying to know yourself the best. Um, and that's where you put this. I need to, I desperately need to write them down again. I did have a bunch and then I erased them because I was convinced I was going to start them over again. And I haven't. Um, but they were there. I just have one for exercising. What is that? Oh, great. <laughs> and then I have my morning rituals and nighttime rituals. Calling them rituals versus routines makes them seem easy to do. But it's also just like a little reminder of this. Like, you know, in an ideal world, in an ideal world I would be doing these things. Unfortunately, I still really struggle with doing them even though my goal of every month like if i were to show you my monthly goals for my monthly overviews every month it says establish your my routine but whether it's fine it's fine we'll get there eventually um but yeah um and then final room i have not final room my final page main page i have writing down thoughts which is my diary journaling page this is where i used to actually have my journal um because i used to really struggle to write in a physical journal and so it's so much easier to just type away um i also tried to have it instead of ranting to my friends to try and rant to your journal 
did that really work i don't know but whatever um i don't know how much of this to show you as well but i'm also the most like oversharing person on the planet basically we have my little journal prompts that i kind of should be doing every day in my new journal which i love i do love journaling and it upsets me that i don't do it as often as i should but it's fine so these are my kind of little you know, I should be able to write these every day, even if I don't have a big thought come to mind. If I do have a big thought come to mind, it's probably one of these guys, um, which I have loads of. <sighs> All the, like, questions I have that I want to sit down, write through and figure out so I can heal and learn and grow and whatever. Um, and I have lots of questions about life and the world. Doesn't make sense, okay? Um, so eventually I will get through those but until then we're just sitting by okay great this is also where I would note down different things I'm grateful for as you can see I haven't been grateful since September last year <laughs> just kidding um, it's just another thing that I need to keep up with um, like I love Notion so much but again it's hardwired to different people you need to hardwire it to yourself which is the best thing about it a lot of these things are here for inspiration purposes, i.e. if I didn't have this gratitude, it's called a call out, if I didn't have this little box, then I would never do it. But given that it is here, I could do it and that's one step closer, you know? It's not overwhelming, it's just in a little toggle list, I haven't made it into a confusing database, it's just here. Um, and then I have my diary entry database where I could write a diary entry or... I could write um, a thought thingy. I have loads of prompts that I got off the internet. Um, so, for example, managing emotions, and it gives you a bunch of prompts to write through. Or one I got from therapy, because um, naturally I implemented my therapy into this. Why wouldn't I? That's my actual thoughts thing. So this is from a trained therapist. Okay, this is what I was meant to do in therapy. So maybe you should do this too. Great unhealthy thinking cycles because the main issue with mental health is the vicious cycles you get yourself into so that's to try and rework those um and then back to my main page um the other two pages i have are my notebook where i keep notes that would go in my notes app but are a little bit more important or coherent or cohesive or whatever and so i'll put them here but you know everyone has those silly notes app notes it feels a bit more like not professional but a bit more formal to put them into notion um so these are the more like important ones whatever um and then i have my to do list i don't know if any of this is going to be embarrassing whatever um i have done that i have not done that i have done that i have done that i have done that and i have done that and now i'm filming my notion tour which is up here Bum, ba, da, da. I wasn't expecting to do this today, but here I am. Good girl. Okay. So, <laughs> so as you can see, I I just have the date in numbers and below that I do my bullet point list. And then once I've kind of basically like done them or the date's gone, I will move them into this little, this little box over here, which is my archive. I've just shrunk it down. So all you can see is the emoji um, in here you have 2021 and 2022 all of my to-do lists and toggle lists this is how we used to stretch them and then i decided i wanted big banners um yeah so they go down here and then you just gotta you just gotta just gotta move them there you go into the little sections um yeah that's that's my to-do list it's just so much easier to blurt down what i want to do um, I prefer this to writing it out because I can move things around in like the order that I kind of want to do them So after I finish doing this I don't know, maybe I'll want to find a skirt on Vinted because that's quite You know, wind down Yeah, I prefer this to writing them down because I can change the order I want to do them I can add little asides If I don't do it on that day, it doesn't look messy and clunky if I have to cross it out Because I can then just like move it to another day It's just so much easier to look at um, and it's less overwhelming because in like a database view for example if I want to do something it would then be a pain to like get rid of it and I would want to make it all complicated but this has just worked out so much better for me um, and it's just a silly little tee -hee, these are the things I kind of want to do today and also another pro tip for neurosexy people is to 
at the end of the day, like backtrack and write down things you have done as well that you might not necessarily have had on your list. So for example, today, what did I also do? I cleaned the kitchen. Yeah. That's my house world kitchen, but it is now. Um, and then I'll take it off. Even though it wasn't on my to-do list, it's something I've done that I'm proud of myself for doing. So I'm going to write it on my to-do list and take it off immediately. Pro tip. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, you know, I don't feel as guilty when I have things unfinished on here because I can just move them around easily. Um, it's a mixture of things that I really need to do and things that would be nice to do. And having that all together just makes things look a lot more, you know, just less intense because um, I don't have like priority stuff. Um, I know what's a priority by looking at it, you know? Um, yeah, great, that's my to-do list. And then last stop is my calendar. Um, I have this in the timeline view, which is mainly for the sake of my phone, because on your phone, you can't see the items inside the days in the counter. You just see that something is there, but you don't know what. So I have the timeline for the sake of my phone. Um, which I need to put stuff into but let's for example do this here Tamino concert with Remy in London is on Tuesday 9th of March um, and that will just pop up here but yeah so your timeline will show stuff in like staggered columns of when you're doing them um, and it's easy to move them around into the order that you're doing them and it's just a very again nicely visual timeline and I have it filtered so that it's only like from today onwards otherwise i would have to scroll forever to find what i'm doing today um so today will always be at the top and then all the future days i've got as you can see where these arrows will come underneath it um and then you've got the main calendar da, 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 da. um this kind of you know simple explains itself um each thing has a different label for what kind of thing it is um, and you can move stuff around. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, the only thing I don't like about Notion's calendar system is that, yes, I could put that I was working from nine to four in the actual calendar thing if I were to include the time and the end time. Um, but the way that that shows up on the main page means it obstructs half of what it says. And I care more about what the task says than the times I'm doing them. Um, so I just write that I'm working from nine to four versus saying that I'm at work and having Notion say it's nine to four. That's the only thing. Um, but otherwise, it's all very slow. And visual, again, I think that's potentially the, like, the key of Notion is making things more visual and easy to move around and having them easy to move around makes it less stressful because you're not making anything permanent. It's all malleable. It's not as overwhelming and it is overwhelming like when you start off like when you're about to make your notion page of course it's overwhelming because you've got all these different things to learn but the second you get the hang of it you know you've binge watched a load of notion tours you go through loads of different renditions of your notion pages and you start to cater it fully for yourself and then it's you know it's beautiful um but i really enjoyed it for note taking during school it meant all of my notes were in one place i could filter them you can also search stuff on notion so like if i wanted to search something in my notes i could do that that's a really cool part of it um, but a lot of people use it for its productivity aspect, which I guess is kind of what I've just shown you, um, or like being able to track stuff on it. Um, but yeah, I love Notion. I love how customizable it is. Um, this sounds like a hashtag sponsor. It's hashtag no, I have like two subscribers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I recommend everyone use Notion. You've got my little templates to get you started. You've got inspiration. What's stopping you? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everything made sense and I wasn't just rambling about. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!